Engineer 775 here on site. Um, you see these going down the road a lot of times, big dangerous cranes, and maybe you've never seen one in operation. But kind of wanted to do a separate video, even though we're installing it at the shelter. So maybe you're interested in seeing how this all goes down. So the first thing this gentleman's going to do is actually put counterweights on his crane. That's what this truck brought the counterweights in. He's going to put 32,000 pounds, 16 tons, on this baby. And uh, it's going to kind of offset the load he's left in. Plus the truck itself weighs 90,000 90, pounds. Okay, so the first thing we kind of do, we set the outriggers down to stabilize, but we got these pads for the outriggers. The counterweights will sit in there. This is Crane 101. that on hook. So I guess he's got to set it back down. Time. We got a little bubble gauge. He's making sure the whole crane is set up. We put some more dunnage underneath. That's good. Crane is level. Okay, we're about to pick up the counterweights off of the other truck. I'm going to put 32,000 pounds right about there. There's two little nubs on the trailer that lock the counterweights in. All right, counterweight is being set on the crane itself. All right, now that the counterweights yeah, he's got two cylinders there. We're going to go down and pick up them counterweights. There they go. That's been released. They're going down. That's how they do it. Now that's cool. So it is preloaded, but then the pivot point obviously is balanced. Once we pick up that shelter, it should be pretty close. It'll have more weight on the counterweight than he does on the shelter, which is awesome and safe. Okay, we've got our shackles and slings hooked up to the beast. All right, we're gonna see what it looks like on the first pick. We'll do some engineering calculations on the stress at each joint. Some good geometry, some good statics and dynamics going on here. Right 
right now is pretty static. All right, just coming up off the ground. Six foot difference. Things are beeping. Well, he's not wasting any time. This is awesome. Good job, sir. He's going to go ahead and set it in. Like, this is so easy. You guys making a big deal out of this? He's super, you gotta be a real chill gentleman to operate a crane like that. Look at that. Seems like he's got this thing pretty easy. <laughs> oh, it's always awesome when you have the right equipment for the job. Oh, I gotta keep that check valve out of the dirt okay we're getting close but we're kind of at the edge of the capacity for his settings all right she's getting close yes come on out okay big boys landed pretty close there got about two foot throw that jutted out and we got a little more room on this side but we are centered in the hole, believe it or not. And we will um, start looking at getting our, we gotta get our gen pod bolted on now. So we're gonna move a little bit of stone, get that gen pod bolted on here. That's next. But it's nice and level inside and out. And the guy did a great job with the crane. So that is awesome. Okay, the gen pod is taking off. There goes the gen pod. This guy's just getting it. Gen pod going in. We gotta bolt it up to the main section and then we're gonna weld the inside flange of the door. Always fun to film and tether at the same time. There's old Brian being dangerous again as usual. He loves to get right on the edge of giant holes. My goodness, get out of there, Brian. Okay, escape tunnel time. There it goes in its little pocket. Hopefully this one will be plumb. All right, we got it bolted down. We put a lot of silicone around there, squeezing it all out. Now I gotta get up here and undo these shackles to let Mr. Crane go. Okay, we're putting the entry to the mudroom in. Broke out my old electric cobalt. <laughs> Never used that thing much, but uh, it's coming in handy right now. We want to use the crane for just about everything, so we're gonna I'm gonna set the the ladder in getting everything bolted up nicely. It's starting to shape up. 